Hello, my name is Michael Ferranti, a local business and lifelong resident of Revere. I am announcing my re-election bid for the Revere School Committee. I am asking you to cast one of your six votes on the ballot for school committee on Tuesday, November 2nd. I am a proud graduate of Revere Public Schools. I graduated from Revere High in 1975. After I graduated from Northeastern University with a degree in business administration, I followed in the footsteps of my father, Manny Ferranti, first by joining his business, GSF Tax Service, on Broadway, and then becoming a public official, like him. I used my skills from my financial background as a professional accountant to serve as the chairman of the Ways and Means Subcommittee. I am also invested in the community. I volunteered with the schools by personally handing out meals during the pandemic and volunteered at the Freshman Barbecue. I am a member of the Knights of Columbus, a service organization. As someone who's lived in Revere all my life and benefited from Revere Public Schools, I want to give back to the community that helped me succeed. My wife, Ellen, has been a special education teacher for 20 years. My children also went to Revere Public Schools. It has been my honor to serve in the school committee for the past 16 years to see a generation of students who graduated from Revere Public Schools become responsible community members. I learned how to work with people who want, who want our city to succeed with my experience in the school committee and my four years as a Ward 4 City Council. A city needs someone with experience to build relationships in the political and educational systems to best help our children succeed. It has also been my honor to work with Superintendent Dr. Diane Kelly, along with a dedicated team of educators, administrators, support staff, and some more parents. Together, we did the best we could have done possibly during the past two years of the pandemic. During my time on the school committee, we ushered the several school district reform initiatives, built five new schools, expanded our improved RPS website, and made crucial repairs to our schools, including upgrading the HVAC systems. The pandemic continues to impact our community. When our entire school community was struggling in the lockdown and remote learning, certain inequities worsened, such as affording breakfast and lunch. Many lack computer access and many things that we take for granted. To help our students, the administration lowered the class size so our teachers can better customize education plans to meet the student needs. We received the funding from the state to expand our early literacy program, offer more career education, and increase learning time. Together, we can help these young students navigate through the often turbulent journey through adolescence and young adulthood. Like you, I care about the children who need breakfast in the morning and affordable internet at home to succeed in school. We need your help to fix these inequities. We want ideas from our struggling families. We want them involved in the process. Our new communications director will connect us with the parents for ideas how to improve our schools. We also want you involved the voters, the parents, the community stakeholders in building a brand new state-of-the-art high school and possibly turning the old high school into a middle school. We welcome everyone's experience and perspectives. By electing people like me, we can continue to help these students blossom into smart, athletic, scientific, artistic, brave, responsible leaders. With your vote, you will continue to help me with our education system to strengthen our schools and order our kids to succeed in today's world and become model citizens. With your vote, I continue to serve the families with complete dedication, honesty, and commitment. I would like to take this time to thank Revere TV for the opportunity to speak to all the residents. Please consider casting one of your six votes for Michael Ferranti, the second name on the ballot, on Election Day, Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021.